Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're looking at what is data modeling. But before we can answer that, we should ask, what is a data model? So it's an abstract model that organizes elements of data and standardizes how they relate to one another and to the properties of real world entities. A data model could be a relational database that contains many tables. So here's actually an example of some data modeling I did, which is for the Exam Pro platform. If you ever open up uh, Power BI, they have like a data modeling tab, so it becomes very clear what it is. But generally, uh, you know, data models just look like a bunch of tables and relations relationships, but it's going to vary based on what you're using a data model for. So a data model could be conceptual, so how data is represented at the organizational level abstractly without conc uh, concretely describing how it works within the software. So people, orders, projects, relationships, logical, so how data is pr uh, presented in software, tables, columns, uh, object-oriented classes, physical, so how data is physically stored, so partitions, CPUs, and table spaces. So this one would probably be the, the middle one here, which is logical, okay? So, you know, this isn't just exactly how data modeling looks like. There's all varieties of way uh, data modeling or a data model can appear. So what is data modeling? A process used to def uh, define and analyze data requirements needed to support the business processes within the scope of the corresponding information systems and organization. So here uh, we have our uh, uh, data modeling here. So you can see that uh, it's actually broken up kind of into three sections, which maps up really well to see where it says physical, conceptual, things like that, it matches up to our three categories here, conceptual, logical, physical. So just take in mind that, uh, you know, if you have data modeling, you can move from a conceptual to a logical to a physical one. All right. And so there you go.